All right, in this video, we're going to talk about the different types of fronts and pressure systems that will cause some of the different weather patterns that you see. Uh, so the first definition here is what a front is. And a front is basically a boundary between two different types of air masses. So a front is when we have two different types of air masses that uh, come together, and it's that boundary in between them. So in this example here, between the cold front, or the cold air mass and the warm air mass, it would be like this boundary here that separates the cold air mass from the warm air mass. All right, so it's also important to know how do we end up with these different types of air masses and fronts and weather patterns is, is all this energy is basically coming from the sun because as the sun heats the earth, right, it's going to heat it unevenly. Certain parts of the earth are going to get more direct sunlight than others. That's going to create warmer air masses in certain places and colder air masses in others that aren't getting as much uh, direct sunlight. So all the energy, or the, the majority of the energy that we're getting for different weather patterns is coming directly from the sun. Okay, so some of the things that we could look at here, uh, the, the different types of fronts, we have cold fronts, which like the name would kind of give away, is gonna bring a cold air mass in. So this is a cold air mass replacing a warmer air mass, all right? So how this would look, if we look down at this picture here, cold air, uh, the cold air mass is gonna come in and kind of push under this warm air mass, push its way under, and then displace or replace or kind of push out of the way this warm air mass. So uh, warm air being less dense is going to rise and then the cold air mass would kind of push its way underneath this and replace it. The warm air mass would rise or maybe get pushed out over this way. Uh, so that's, that's what a cold front is when we replace a warm air, air mass with a cold air mass. Uh, so some of the types of weather that you could expect from a uh, cold front would be heavy precipitation in, in many cases, could even be storms, and obviously being a cold air mass, it's, it's usually going to bring colder weather as well. All right, so obviously the next uh, type of air mass we look at here would be a warm air mass or a warm front. Uh, so a warm front forms when a warm air mass replaces a cold air mass. So it's kind of the opposite of the cold front. Except this time, the warm air mass, because again, warm air is less dense, it's going to rise. It's going to push its way on top of this cold air mass here. But it's still going to push it out of the way, so this cold air mass will end up, you know, scooting its way along there. And the warm air mass will push it out of the way, kind of sliding over top of it, as opposed to the cold front, which pushes underneath a warm air mass. All right, so a warm front and cold front, they're going to bring very different types of weather, obviously. A warm front, you may see some light precipitation at this boundary uh, as this warm air rises. You can end up with some light precipitation there. Uh, but then as soon as that's done, if you get any precipitation, as soon as that's done, you're going to be looking at probably clear, warm weather from this warm air mass. It's going to be pretty uh, generally pleasant. All right, so those are the two different types of fronts you have to know. Uh, we're also going to talk about a couple different types of pressure systems. So we looked at what air pressure was in the previous video. Uh, so air pressure uh, is something that's going to create these pockets of air, these masses of air that have high pressure or low pressure according to whatever the air pressure might be in them. So the different types of pressure systems are going to give you significantly different weather. Uh, if you have a high pressure system, uh, the weather is usually going to be clear, sunny, uh, no precipitation, maybe a little precipitation, but uh, it's usually going to be pretty pleasant weather. So you could kind of picture this. Uh, this image here, this would be a pretty good example of a high pressure system, most likely. Uh, so a great way to remember this is the phrase high and dry. So high and dry, meaning that if we have a high pressure system, which is symbolized by this H here, uh, that's going to be dry weather, um, usually pretty pleasant. Uh, so the other type of pressure system here would be a low pressure system. This is going to bring uh, a lot more unpleasant weather. Uh, low pressure systems are usually going to create turbulent uh, weather or unsettled. Uh, you could end up with heavy precipitation, storms, uh, high winds. Any of these, these things could uh, be uh, uh, reflective of a low pressure system. All right. So uh, one thing I forgot to do here is go over the different types of symbols that you might see on a weather map for uh, these different uh, types of systems. So for a cold front, you're looking at this blue line with these pointy triangles. 
So if you see a weather map with one of these kind of maybe moving across it like that, uh, that would indicate a cold front is, is coming in that way. For a warm front, uh, it's going to be the same line except red and with little half circles instead of triangles for the symbols for the fronts. Uh, so again, you would see this line moving to the right in this case. It's always all these uh, fronts are going to move in the direction that their little symbols are pointing. So in this case, the, the semicircles are pointing to the right, so the front would be moving to the right for that. And as far as the pressure systems, a high pressure system is going to have a big H on the map, pretty self-explanatory, and a low pressure system will have a big L uh, on the map, pretty self-explanatory as well. All right, so you can look for some of these things on uh, weather maps if you see on like the Weather Channel or maybe in the paper and try and identify for yourself based on the symbols that you see on the map, what type of weather do you think would be coming in? So again, if we see, for example, on the map, maybe a big H symbol uh, moving its way towards uh, where, we're, where, where you live, you can expect that you're probably going to have pretty good weather during that time because, again, high pressure system is going to give you high and dry, uh, pretty pleasant weather. All right, thanks for watching this video on fronts and pressure systems, and I'll see you in the next one.